welcome back again to another Java short tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to continue. I'm going to extend on my previous video, in which I've uh, actually introduced border layout. And I'm going to show you how you can use a border layout to combine different layout types using a J panel. So, okay, in this particular case, I'm not going to copy my previous one. I'm only going to select selectively copy some of the stuff from previous examples so swing example 4 and create an instance of this class swing example 4 ex equals new swing example 4 okay and naturally I'm going to create my constructor And I'm going to extend from the J frame. Okay, so in this particular case, um, I want to have a text field control all the way in the top. And I want to have four buttons in uh, grid formation uh, at the bottom of my program. So basically, um, the question is, okay, what layout are we going to use? Well, one option could be the flow layout, but that requires some very precise planning and very precise sizing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my top control, uh, in this case, but so because flow layout is not ideal, I'm going to use a border layout to put my top control on top. And I'm going to use a grid layout on a separate panel, which will be added to the south slot of the border layout. I know it sounds a bit complicated, but uh, yeah, let me just demonstrate how this is done. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to do my uh, default application creation stuff. So I'm just going to copy those lines. Um, in this case, I would like to have, well, I, again, I need to take a bit of a guess here. Um, I'm going to make the width 250 and the height maybe 200. This would be uh, swing example number 4 combined layout. And my default operation is going to be set to uh, close exit on close. Of course I need my um, I need my J-frame to be visible so we're going to set the visibility to true. Okay so in this case I want my text field uh, which I'm declaring right now, JTF um, number, for example, uh, to be on top. And I want to have four buttons, which I'm declaring now, which is going to be uh, JBTN plus... Uh, JBTN minus JBTN um, multiply and JBTN divide. Okay, so I have four buttons that are going to be at the bottom in grid formation. Um, let's initialize those controls just like we always do. So JTF number equals new J text field uh, J BTN plus equals equals new uh, J button with the plus as the text. Okay, to hurry things up, I'm going to copy the rest of the lines. So minus has the minus sign. Multiply has the multiply sign, and then we have divide, which in this case I'm simply going to use the slash to indicate. Okay, so I have, like I said, a text field that I want to have on top of my program, and I want to have the buttons in a grid formation at the bottom. Okay, so how am I going to approach this? Well, first I'm just going to worry about the text field, and the text field will be added directly on the J frame. So I'm going to set the layout of my J-frame 
to border layout. Because the border layout allows me to hard fix um, a part of my program in a top, bottom, left, right, center position. And this particular number text field is going to be added in the, like I said, the north position of my J frame, which has a border layout. Okay, so then the question becomes, where am I going to put those buttons? Uh, I can put them in the uh, left, east, west, south, center positions, but then it won't exactly be uh, a grid kind of situation. So, and my J frame already has a border layout, so I can't change that either. If I change it to grid layout, it becomes a bit of a problem. Okay, fortunately there's a very easy way uh, to go about doing this. I basically am going to split up my layout into several J panels. A J panel is a bit like a, a J frame. It can have a layout, but it doesn't have any controls. And a J panel can be added as a wholesale GUI component to the J frame. So what am I going to do? I'm going to declare my J panel, P1. And of course I'm going to import it. Then pretty much anywhere in the code really, uh, at least above, uh, I can initialize it, but I'm going to choose to do it here. So this.p1 equals new J panel. And a J panel, like a J frame, can have a layout. So in this case, I'm going to assign it with a grid layout, which needs to hold four controls. So it's going to be two rows, two columns. And of course, import the grid layout. So what am I going to do now? After I've initialized my controls, I'm going to add these controls one by one to my panel. So this.p1 at this.jbtn plus. So it's just like adding it, it to a J frame instead of saying this.add, which is a J frame. I say this.p1, which is the panel, dot add. Other than that, the code is pretty much the same. So I'm going to add these controls. Uh, so add the plus first, then the minus the multiply control and the divide control okay so they are now added to the panel but the panel itself in order to be displayed needs to be added to the j-frame so how am i going to add it to the j-frame well very much like any other control by saying this dot add this dot p1 so the control of p1 will be added to the j-frame and whether I want it, well, by default, because the J-frame has border layout, it will be added to the center. But in this case, I, in which would actually be fine for this example, but just to make it more clear, I'm going to add it to the south slot. Okay, so now let's run this thing and see what happens. Okay, so not what I had in mind. So why is that? Uh... Oh, of course. Um, this is a very silly mistake of me. When I just now set the grid layout, I've actually set it to the J-frame. It must be this dot P1 set layout it for it to be added to the J-panel. So, there we go. And now you can see, okay, I have my buttons nicely in a grid formation at the bottom. And my text field on top. Uh, one thing I could do to shift it up a little bit is I can set it to the center location. Uh, so now it's basically pushed to the center, directly below the uh, north control. And since um, the panel knows it's in the center control, just below north it knows it can take up the whole remaining rest of the space. Uh, so therefore the buttons get resized. Like you've seen in my previous video, a grid view has the ability to resize the controls. So there we have it. We have a grid layout combined with a border layout to actually come up with a GUI configuration that otherwise would not have been possible with one layout manager. Uh, in my next video I'm going to very briefly show um, how we can organize our code better by isolating the J panel in a separate class. But that will be next time. See you then. Mm -hmm.